I actually can't believe that I'm finally filming this. Guys, I've been keeping a massive secret over the last four or five months. Like, we're finally here, guys. I bought a home in Kent with my boyfriend and we have finally moved in. Come in. And for those of you who know who Arthur is, Arthur is finally back with his mum living together which i'm so excited for i have genuinely been so stressed since the end of may slash june it really is true what they say buying a home is probably the most stressful thing you'll ever do in your life but selling a home and then buying a home let's not even go there because so much stuff has happened and at one point i really thought that this wasn't gonna happen and i just think like everything happens for a reason and everything's worked out exactly how it was supposed to which is incredible and i know sometimes it doesn't but i think you really have to think it wasn't meant to be but this really was meant to be and i'm so excited to share this journey with you i have just been really really feeling like I needed a new start. I'd been living in my flat for four years in London and I originally moved there for university because I was studying there. And we bought the flat, myself and my sister, and it was literally the best thing ever. It was like my first proper home. But over the last few years, I have grown as a person and my belongings have grown a lot. So like I was feeling so cramped. I was getting up every morning and just crawling to end my bed, sitting at my desk and just wanting to not be in the city anymore. Like I'm such a country girl and I'm just so glad to be back here. Like this is my home and we've only been in here three days but it already feels like home and it's just like the best feeling ever so yeah guys welcome to my office this is where i'm going to be filming from a lot of the time i finally have my own office i literally can't believe that i'm saying that it is nowhere near done though let me tell you that and none of the house is done to how we eventually want it to be but of course small steps you have to take small steps and i am such an impulsive person like i want it done immediately and I'm really having to like learn and teach myself that that's not gonna happen and you have to just spend your time doing it and just go with the flow and just enjoy the process and I've always wanted to decorate a home and make it my own and I finally get to do that and I'm just so excited for the journey like it's already been so fun and we've literally been here only three days but I did actually film my last week in the flat and I filmed some clips and I've also filmed what's been happening over the weekend so I want to just flash back and show you guys exactly what been happening and how everything went down with our house move so i hope you enjoy and oh god it's literally just been like the best few days ever oh it's kind of bittersweet i'm literally cooking my last ever recipe in my flat i actually can't believe this this is literally where it all basically kicked off we are about a quarter of the way i have way too much stuff long night ahead That honestly took me way too long. Oh my God, I actually can't believe it. This is my last night in my room. This is so exciting, but like, so weird and like, bittersweet. My room. I am honestly just so ready for space. Like I work there, I sleep here and I just need a room now. Not my beautiful room, I'm gonna miss it. Ready for a big day tomorrow. I feel like stressed and overwhelmed. Taking a minute. <laughs> uh, there's too much stuff. I've got no food in the house, so I'm making cheesy eggs on toast. Literally the only thing that I have. But it's delish. My last ever meal. Beautiful. My bathroom feels so empty. It's so echoey. I've literally just cleaned it. Moving bits. 
actually can't believe how empty this is. And all of my stuff is packed away. Guys, today is the day. It is the 29th of September. And we're getting our new house. I'm so excited. Let's get ready. the day for a very exciting day oh my god i've literally just picked up our keys oh my god i'm literally so excited okay i don't know what that keychain is about but we got the keys i literally can't wait for kieran to get here oh my god i need to take this key ring off what on earth is that this is where i literally snap a nail I bought Kieran and I <laughs> matching keychains. How cute. I actually can't deal. This is literally like the most exciting day ever. And also the most impractical day for long nails. This is so exciting. Let's go to the house. <laughs> Obviously had to grab a Starbucks. Hello, this I'm your removals man. Let's go for this one as well. Barbecue. Barbecue base. Five guys in the dominoes, all in um, two nights. What was that? Wow. <laughs> How is it? Oh, it's chilly. There you go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Crap there, though. Shit, it's been here. It's been here. No, it's all still here as well. Are you sure, babe? I think babe, I'm still... definitely sure. So the whole wood's cracked across there. They've obviously dropped it or something. something. That is so annoying. I actually can't deal with him. Ready guys? Woo! <laughs> That's sensational, isn't it? Go speak about absolutely everything. That's not a good action now. You're not even better than that. You're not Just arrived. And Kieran's sister and her family. And then we have a very special guest. Are you in your new home? Are you happy to be back with mummy? Oh. <laughs> First home cooked meal. We're going with a chicken pasta, my favourite meal. And that was the last few days. Guys, it's been the biggest whirlwind, but we're finally here. I'm in my office, which I have actually decorated slightly, but the whole place needs to be decorated. So we've got a lot of work to do, but I feel like we've made a good start and I've got my place to work, which is what I needed because if I don't have a place to work, I feel really stressed. So this was like my number one priority, but I'm gonna show you my office and what I've done so far. And we've actually started a home account 
so I'll tag it here. It's called Our Fit Home. We couldn't think of a name and it was like the best name that kind of came up that didn't have like loads of underscores or dots and I just thought it worked perfectly because obviously we're both into fitness and both of us had fit in our usernames. So go and give us a follow if you want to follow along with our home journey. But this is my office, I'm gonna show you it. And if you have any questions or if you wanna know where anything is, go to my homepage. And here is my beautiful office. I literally love it so much already. And it's literally what I've always kind of dreamt of. But this desk is like the thing that I am obsessed with the most. However, I'm not gonna lie, when it got delivered, it's got a massive crack in it which is just so typical, but the company have actually been absolutely incredible. And do you know what? I'd really, really recommend them, even though that has happened and it will be the delivery company, not them, but they are letting me keep this desk until the new one arrives. So that's really, really kind of them. It's from a company called Graham and Green. And um, yeah, the front of the desk is just so beautiful. Like I just absolutely love it. It's just stunning i don't know <laughs> but like it's my dream desk um, and then this chair i actually picked up from tk maxx yesterday i think it's like the perfect so her home dupe i don't know if you've seen this chair on so her home but they have one that's like 1800 pounds this one was 290 i think it was would you stop sniffing this one was 290 and it's the most coziest thing ever and it does actually rotate as well so it's like a swivel chair oh, he's getting really excited it's a swivel chair and i just absolutely love it and then i actually bought this olive tree from amazon i bought a pack of two and the pot is also from tk maxx the olive tree i need to i don't know if it's going to live there but i just really like what it kind of brings to the room and then we've obviously got my desk and decorations to be honest all of these like ornaments are actually from b&m which is so good i already had these two in my flat so i just styled them up i don't know if this is gonna be what it is gonna be like but i just wanted to make a start and i just wanted to make it homely and then i went and stun elm start up a little bowl with some roses i really like that but i think i need to add a few more it's a little bit sparse and then these shelves are actually already here so i think i'm just gonna paint them the same color of the walls when i paint the walls and that's not gonna be how it's styled but i mean again it's a start and then this desk chair i had such a nightmare finding a good desk chair this is from amazon and it was 100 pounds it's the best one i found and it's so comfy it's like the most luxurious like spongy material i'll make sure i link most of these products as well in case you guys want to get any but yeah this is my office. What do we think? And then you come out of my room. Also, did we just see a blue Ellen Clo cup? Oh my goodness. I'm so excited to launch these. I just need some time to create the content. So I'm really hoping it can be in the next two weeks, but I will keep you updated as to when, because I know so many of you are wanting to get your hands on one. They're literally the best things ever. And you can see Kieran, he's actually in a meeting right now. But... Hello. <laughs> I locked him in. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not actually going to give you like a full on house tour yet because like I said, we've literally just moved in. And when I tell you that the place is a state, I really mean it's a state because I've moved from a flat where I don't have any cupboards. Like I don't have anything that's mine to take with me to store my clothes. So Kieran and I have both got a room upstairs, which is just of clothing and it's not great because to find this outfit today literally took me a good 20 minutes <laughs> it's just not ideal i'm really wanting to get it sorted as quick as possible but to be honest it just all takes time and it's really hard to not be impatient but you really do have to be patient when you move houses i was quite smart in the fact that i did actually pack myself like a moving bag with say like three or four outfits but i have actually worn all of those now and they have been washed so now i really do need to make a start on kind of like organizing my wardrobe ever so slightly but i'll show you guys the downstairs and this kitchen even though it is a mess i'm so sorry like i don't live like this but obviously we have just moved this kitchen by the way is literally my dream thing ever it is stunning it's like so bright so airy it has everything that i ever wanted like a pantry a utility room a massive cooker and i'm just so excited to create content here for you guys i feel like my content and my meal prep videos is just gonna level up and i'm gonna be able to just give you so much more because i was so limited in the flat with space and stuff so yeah 
we're about to take things very seriously here. But this is the kitchen. Okay, so we had to actually buy ourselves a fridge because they took theirs. But I'm not loving this space above here. And I don't really know what we can do about it. Because it does stick out a bit anyways. It is quite a big fridge. Suggestions recommended. I feel like we're just gonna have to live with it. It is such a beautiful fridge and this is literally the fridge I always wanted. I need to show you inside of it. If you don't like home stuff, then you're probably not gonna wanna watch this video. So I do understand, but I need to show you my fridge if you love a good fridge. So it's double doors, opens up. I'm sorry, like how incredible is that? It's literally insane. Like these drawers I can roll out. I can put all my stuff in really easily. I'm not like out of space. We honestly have so much space in here at the moment. I mean, we hardly have any food because I've literally done like the quickest shot the other day, but I just love it. And the best bit is this bit. Actually, maybe the best bit is the water bit. I do love fresh water. I just fill my Stanley up from there all the time. Like it's the best thing ever for getting loads of water in yourself because it's obviously filtered and it is also really cold. But the freezer space, you just pull out like this and we have literally nothing in there apart from these. Oppo sent me these and they look really good. But yeah, you pull this drawer out and we have an ice tray. The best invention ever. If you're ever gonna get a fridge and you want an American freezer one, get the ice tray, it is so good. But this fridge is actually from Fisher and Paycal and this is the one that I wanted. None of this is sponsored by the way, guys. I just wanna show you exactly what I got. And then this is the beautiful kitchen. And we're not gonna look in this corner here because there is so much rubbish, but this is where I'm gonna be standing, making all my food content. I love it. My mum actually bought me this as like a moving in present. Such a nice board. I did originally think that it was a little bit big, but it's actually perfect. Like it's so good. Literally in love with this thing. Then we've got our big like oven. I actually need to clean this. It's very dirty and I just have not got around to doing it yet, but love it. It's also so nice. And I really like the fact that it's gas as well. I feel like gas is so much better than Hobbs. I don't know. I've always had hobs, but now I've had gas. I really prefer gas. And then we have this little area here, which is an absolute mess. Kira and I actually splashed out on this. I don't know how you pronounce it, if it's ASOP or ESOP, but we literally loved it. I'm not even going to tell you about the price because it was the most overpriced thing I think I've ever bought in my life, but it smells absolutely unbelievable. This is a hand wash with like, it's like bits in it. It's like gritty, but it is so good. And to be honest, I can understand the hype because it actually is really good. But is it worth that price? probably not and then looking out from the kitchen you have our stunning pool this honestly sold it for us we just fell in love when we saw this and yeah i'm just so excited to use it in the summer kieran's actually been in it every sin single day since we came i did actually stock some of my cupboards but they're not completely finished yet however they do look kind of pretty this is my women's best cupboard and then this is my cup cupboard, but some are missing, so it doesn't look so good, but you get my vibe. It just looks so aesthetic, and I just love the fact that I'm finally able to do this, guys. Then we've got the middle row here. I'm not finished with decorating this yet. This was just to get stuff out of the way, to be honest, and just to put something there. And then up here, we've got our drinks cupboard. There are my drinks. <laughs> all my cups and yeah this is our kitchen and over here we have our pantry oh this is just like the best thing ever but i am gonna be changing this because i want to do different shelves i want to paint it this is just how it, it obviously came so yeah take this with a pinch of salt but i actually bought these baskets from b m yesterday and they're so handy i'm so glad i got them i just think they look really good but yeah we are gonna be obviously changing that slightly and then in here we have the utility room which again is just a mess we need to get a dryer but yeah it will have a dryer washing machine we've got all our stuff in here <laughs> i've been waiting for so long to do this i'm not even gonna lie probably the most pointless thing in the world but doesn't it look good <laughs> and then um yeah we've got like a cupboard at the end there and then there's like a drying sort of rack that pulls out and that is the utility if you follow me on instagram then you'll probably already know but yes we have a pool and I actually can't believe I'm saying that. Like you've got a pool. It's incredible. I just love it. I literally love waking up in the morning and just seeing this in the garden. It's just stunning and it's 
one of the things that sold us the house and i feel like with the pool it does sometimes put people off but for us it was such a bonus and i'm just so glad that we have it this is our outdoor area again guys it's not finished at all so yeah just bear that in mind we haven't got any furniture at all i have got my eye on a set of furniture but i'm waiting to see if it goes on sale when we go into winter but it's just so beautiful today it's so 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 sunny i think kieran's probably gonna go for a swim and it's just so clear it does actually need a bit of a clean at the bottom, but we've got the pool guy coming around in a couple of days. But yeah, that's our pool. Kieran's setting up his ice bath. Got an outdoor shower, which is also super cool. And then in there is the living room, and that's the back of the house. I'll show you the living room as well, even though it's literally got nothing in it because we're waiting on our sofa. Why does furniture take so long to be delivered? <laughs> Some of my furniture's not coming till after Christmas. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm like ordering extravagant furniture, I don't know, but it's really annoying because the house feels really empty and we've got like nowhere to sit at the moment at night, so we're kind of just working till we go to bed, which is really bad, but at the end of the day, we've got nothing else to do, so we may as well. This is our living room. These prints, I just absolutely love. This is basically like my own little vision board because these are things I want to get in the next... Mm, maybe this one a bit longer, but in the next five years. So I really want to buy myself a G-Wagon. Very out of budget at the moment, but we're gonna get there, guys. <laughs> and then I really, really love Dobermans and I really want to get one, but I'm not gonna get one whilst Arthur is still here, bless him. And I hope he lives forever, but yeah, it just wouldn't be very sensible at all. But yeah, just literally love these two prints. I think they're so gorge. And then this is the rest of the living room, really. That's not even our TV that's gonna be going upstairs. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? We've got nothing in this room yet, but I did actually get a delivery of my chairs, which are going to be going at the end here. However, they are a little bit bigger than what I thought, but I do really like them. I actually need to pick up the other one from my dad's house tonight, so I will have two, but they're like this really stunning buccal fabric, and I don't know. I just really like them. They are so comfy, and I think it will just look so nice with another one there. And then we'll have our sofa like in the corner there, and that'll look really nice. They are quite big, but I do really like them. So I am definitely gonna keep them, I think. And this area here is actually gonna be like our content kind of area, because obviously both of us do social media. Um, so we're gonna have it like all paneled at the back in, I don't know if it's paddling, but it's like wooden kind of like slats all at the back. Um, and then we're gonna have like a nice massive like gold mirror and then like a little poof or something to the side and it's just gonna look really aesthetic and really nice and it's just really good lighting here as well so it's like the perfect space but i just love what it looks out on there's kieran i just literally love like what it looks out onto i just think it's so nice it's such a great view and these doors actually pull all the way back which is so nice in the summer and then upstairs is the biggest mess, like I said, I know I keep saying that, but it is a big mess, so please bear with me. But I'll show you our room because I feel like it's such a feature in this house. And this is our gorgeous bedroom. I literally just love this bedroom. It's so bright and it's so airy. Not a huge fan of the chandelier, but I have actually ordered a new one and it has arrived today, so I'm really excited to get that put up. But I just think it's so beautiful, this whole bedroom. And I'm so excited to decorate it. Go out in the morning onto your balcony, which is really dirty, but anyways... <laughs> And you see your incredible pool. I mean, how nice is that? It's actually just so dreamy. I'm literally just so grateful. We have actually ordered a new bed, but again, it hasn't arrived, so we're just on the floor, which isn't ideal. And then all my stuff is in the corner, which is great. And then we've got an ensuite, but we are actually changing this room completely. So there is actually like a fake wall here and we're knocking that out and through. And we're gonna be basically making the bathroom a little bit bigger because it is a little bit small. And for some reason, they put like this dressing area here, but in all honestly it's a complete waste of space like it takes up that much room of the room and the room could be really big so we're gonna knock this down and then knock this wall as well and make the bathroom like all through there so it'll just be a lot bigger but that is the current bathroom it's an absolute mess and it's gonna be changed so i don't want to show you too much just yet and you know how i said my stuff was everywhere and that is basically Part of my house. I haven't shown you the other rooms or the other bathrooms yet, but we're gonna get there. I just wanna make it a little bit less messy and presentable. And I'm gonna show you guys like the transformations that I do in each room because I'm so excited for that. I literally have so many plans in regards to what I wanna do to this house. And I'm just so excited. I wanna take you guys along with me. Obviously we're gonna continue with the fitness and the food content, but I feel like this adds like another aspect. And 
who doesn't love home content because I literally do. I have spent so much money on home stuff. Every day Kieran's like, I haven't got any parcels, but you've got about five. And I'm like, well, yeah, because I'm ordering for the house. I don't know, men just don't decorate or make things homely. They just don't care, but it needs to be homely. So yeah, I've literally been buying so much, but um, I'm just really excited for this journey. And I just honestly want to say thanks so much for supporting me because obviously without you guys, I also wouldn't be here. And I've literally never been so grateful in my life. So thank you so much. But yeah, that's basically our, I'm going to call it a half house tour because I haven't shown you at all. But yeah, the rest will be coming soon. And it's just the start of our journey. And we'll be back to making some incredible recipes be soon i just need to get settled because everything is just here there and everywhere and i actually don't have like the basic stuff you know like your utensils i only have one knife not great so i need to get like all the basic stuff and then i can get cooking again but i'm really excited to start making recipes because i feel like it's gonna be so fun in this house but yeah thanks so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video please make sure that you like this video and I hope you enjoy this new journey. Um, but yeah, I'll see you at the same time next week and thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.